Hey guys, SK here, back with another Clash Royale video. Hope you guys are all doing well. Today we are back with the Path of Legends ladder grinding. As you can see, I'm already in Grand Champion, and I'm three steps up, so I'm five steps away from entering Royal Champion, using my very own custom-made Monk Bow deck. So this is an Expo deck that I have created myself. I was able to beat Elixir Golem just now, and I've generally been having quite a bit of success with this deck, and also quite a lot of fun. I mostly created it to try and counter the meta, because... I feel like there's a lot of Phoenix and Monk. I mean, obviously there is. There are two really broken cards. Um, so I decided to make my own Expo deck to try and counter it, instead of just using Thrupano, which I feel like gets countered quite hard. So we do see a Monk first play, and my opponent already uh, messed up the... or Phoenix first play, rather, and he already messed up the activation. Just gonna go for a Tesla for this E-Giant, and E-Giant is not very surprising, I guess. Wow, he actually goes for an Earthquake. So Musketeer is gonna do a great job at sniping the Phoenix, and as you can see, that is actually why I've chosen to run her in this deck. I think I'm gonna go for an Expo, because he just used E-Giant and Earthquake, so two of his huge Expo counters, and Musketeer will also force response out. Yeah, it does force the guards out, so I can just log them plus one trade for me. Does go E-Wiz. I'm going to instantly respond to that because I really need this connection. Uh, he has quite a heavy counter deck, it looks like, with the E-Giant, with the Earthquake Phoenix, and he probably has a mirror in here because, yeah, he just mirrored his E-Giant, so uh, most people who are playing Phoenix do have mirror in the deck as well, or at least half of them, I would say, because it's just so overpowered if you stack Phoenixes, if you mirror the Phoenix, it's ridiculous. going to pop my Monk ability right here, and it will just do a great job at getting about 100 or 200 damage on the tower with those deflected shots. I think that was about 150 or so, so it's just really nice. Um, I'm going to Musketeer to snipe this Phoenix. I'm not actually sure uh, the best placement. He does actually NATO the Musketeer in anyways, so I think I'm going to log the egg just to be safe. Actually, no, because it's level 12, I realized I don't need to because uh, it's such an underleveled egg, it dies in three shots. But as you can see, people are literally playing with underleveled Phoenixes because of how overpowered it is. Like, we're in level 14 right now because uh, the level cap does increase as you join the higher league, so... Grand Champion and above is level 14, as we're used to from old Max Ladder, um, but people are still literally just playing level 12, level 13 Phoenix. He's going to Expo, just went for a Sparky, and unfortunately I don't have Login Cycle, but I don't think he can afford an E-Giant in time still, because uh, Sparky is 6, let's see, okay, he does just barely get it off, because guards actually do tank for an Expo for a very long time, so... But as you can see, Monk actually does a great job as well, and this is something I love about the Monk, which is much better than the Knight. He actually Prediction Earthquakes my Skeletons, which is... Okay, wow, I actually still hit... I thought I waited long enough, but I guess not. Um, Musketeer will be able to snipe the Phoenix, and gonna log the Egg. Actually, that was kind of a waste, because my uh, Musketeer still died, so that was actually pretty suboptimal. We should still be okay, though. I'm actually surprised that Earthquake lasted so long. I really thought the Musketeer... Uh, or I really thought the skeletons would take it out, so I wouldn't even need to musketeer in the first place, but just gonna monk for this E-Giant, and like I was saying, I really like monk against big tanks like E-Giant, Giant, Royal Giant, Goblin Giant. The pushback with the third clap attack, it's, number one, it's really funny. I love the clap animation, it's actually pretty hilarious in my opinion. Number two, it's actually very practical as well. Um, he just went in, so I'm gonna go in and predict his Sparky, log the guards instantly, and I don't think he's back to Electro Giant right now. Okay, unfortunately he is, although at least I have my Tesla still alive, so it should make quick work of that E-Giant, and then I can maybe go in again. Gonna set up for an Expo push and get a Monk ready, because I can't go in right away. E-Giant would've just shredded my Expo. And I'm gonna wait for the Monk to walk in front and then Expo. He actually might mirror his E-Giant. Yeah, I was thinking, because he wasn't playing anything, and I know he has mirror in the deck, so it kind of makes sense, but still gonna try and commit to this, because Monk pushback is actually quite good. As you can see, we actually pretty much took the E-Giant out while it was on the Expo, so even though I didn't get a connection, I prevented his E-Giant from getting any offensive presence at all. Uh, gonna go in again, he is still like two away from E-Giant, and he just used an Earthquake, so his cycle is really bad right now. He just wasted his Quake, which would be a great counter to the Expo. And yeah, it looks like he was trying to get a bit aggressive, trying to Earthquake cycle me, but that was not gonna work. I was playing pretty aggressive, and I punished him pretty well, so really, really nice win against E-Giant Earthquake. I, of course, I have to BM. He's literally playing E-Giant Earthquake Mirror with Phoenix. Like, this is the state of the meta, what decks have become, so this is why I made my own Expo deck again, um, just to counter ridiculous stuff like this. But really, really nice first win against a ridiculous matchup there. I believe we actually got a reward for that. Yeah, 6,000 gold, so pretty nice win to start the video off.
Alright, and we are into the next match against Parker. Actually reminds me of one of my old friends. Uh, his name was also Parker, and he played Lava. You guys might have uh, heard of him. This Parker does go for Princess at the Bridge first place, so it's not going to be my friend, uh, the Lava Hound player. Um, and okay, pretty aggressive barrel. I guess it makes sense because uh, I didn't have Login Cycle from Logging the Princess. Actually does get a fair amount of damage, unfortunately. So it is going to be Log Bait. Going to go for an Expo with this Monk and pop my ability instantly. If he went for a rocket there, would have deflected the rocket. Since he was patient, he can just rocket me out after, and it'll kind of get destroyed, unfortunately. At least my monk got a clap on that Valk, so I hope I don't have to respond to her. I think I might. Actually, yeah, I do, because it has a bit too much HP, so just going to Musketeer. Musky will also force something out. Just a log, so pretty much a minus trade for me, but sh should be okay. Gonna get ready to hover my skeletons in the middle, because against any log bait player, you always want to get ready to catch their princess at the bridge. Especially because my opponent is back to princess now, he has cycled four cards. Uh, so I'm just gonna cycle stuff in the middle and get ready for that. Just gonna log the barrel again. And this is actually interesting because I actually did lose to log bait earlier, and I feel like this deck on paper should do quite well against log bait. Okay, nice, I did catch the princess at the bridge, perfect. I don't think I'm going to expo, I think Monk will be pretty threatening by itself, and I actually think maybe I should rethink the way I play this matchup, because last time I was just being really aggressive with expos, but the thing I noticed is that you have to predict their rocket with your Monk. If you ability and they don't rocket, you just waste your ability for no reason. Okay, he does go really aggressive, I think I am going to log, um, and then... I'm actually going to ignore that barrel, because he just spent quite a lot of elixir. Musky will also clean up the barrel, so this should be... Okay, I'm actually surprised he was able to afford the rocket there, because I really thought he was spamming everything. He went gang, he went barrel, uh, so I thought he was at like 3 or 4 elixir. I guess I counted wrong, but we do still get an okay trade, I guess. I got some damage, and Musketeer still cleaned everything up. Once again, I have to be ready to catch the princess at the bridge. Um, and yeah, I feel like I should rethink the way I played this matchup. I lost it earlier, because I feel like I was too aggressive. I think I need to just be pretty patient. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna rocket cycle right here. He can't really rocket me back because he has to respond to the monk um, And then if he does rocket me back, I will expo and I guess there's no point popping my ability there because inferno would just destroy uh, Anyways, so we are back with that rocket and he kind of knew he couldn't rocket me back Gonna get ready for the prince at the bridge though with this e-spirit and he is spamming once again So I think I'm gonna pop my monk ability this time as you can see it does a great job against the spear goblins deflects the spears back and just stalls out, so that's going to be a great way to counter that gang without wasting my log. Then I'm going to try and snipe this princess with this musketeer. As you can see, musketeer has such a nice range, and that's a huge benefit of it over something like archers. Gonna skeletons to uh, pull the valk over, and rocket was forced out. So I'm going to monk. I think my musky should survive, and uh, Espirit as well, and then I'm going to pop my ability, and if he goes for like a log, yeah exactly, he'll get deflected back, that is exactly what I was going for, and the princess arrows get deflected back at her as well, so I feel like I'm playing this one a lot better uh, than I played uh, the other log bait matchup that I lost, I think it was yesterday, um, because I just feel like I was maybe being a bit too aggressive, but I should utilize monk more, go in for expo still, but uh, be more patient with them early on, now that we're in double I feel like I can do this. He does actually go for a rocket, but thankfully misses the monk. So I'm going to pop my ability right now. Perfect timing. I think I countered the princess, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, nice. So as you guys can see there, a perfect timed monk ability will fully counter a princess. Also will counter stuff like flying machine, um, dark goblin, etc. But you do have to get the timing correct. Going to rocket cycle now. He can't rocket me back because if we just trade rockets, I will win because I'm literally up one full rocket. Looks like he's not even rocketing me back. So I'm up two rockets right now. I think he's trying to outcycle me, maybe. Uh, but once again, gonna pop my monk ability. Will deflect the spears, fully take the spear goblins out, and will almost take up the princess on the right. Uh, and I'm just logging every barrel, like I'm fine with this. And he did, he didn't even rocket me back that time, so momentum has pretty much been entirely on my side this match, which is a great change from again that other log bait match. I'm gonna cycle very aggressively back to my log. Uh, and gonna log that. Okay, he actually went for a tricky barrel all the way at the back. I haven't seen that in a long time. I feel like it's not a very good play, but obviously he baited out my log and I missed it, so maybe it was a good play. But just gonna defensive expo at this point. I mean, Monk is getting deflections off, so he can rocket me all he wants. I don't really care, because I'll just rocket his tower. And all I have to do is get a couple logs plus a rocket on the tower, or get a Monk ability on the tower. And there's nothing he can do about it, so... E-Spirit does chain, that's gonna be a good game. Uh, he kinda messed up that right there, and yeah. So, I feel like this is actually quite a good matchup for me, I just have to play it right, cause... 
I lost it pretty badly earlier and it was a bit frustrating, but I just changed the way I played this time and it really worked out. So I'm glad I'm kind of learning my deck better on the go, uh, getting better at matchups, and it's quite a nice feeling. So really nice win against Logbait there. Gonna put me three wins away from Royal Champion. Alright, so we are getting into the next match against Jostin Lava. He does actually have Lava on his banner as well, so could actually be playing Lava Hound. We'll see. Uh, does go for a minor first place, so minor is used in quite a few Lava decks. Just going to catch it with my Monk, and as you can see, Monk is just really great against melee troops. Um, he does actually go for a Golden Knight, which means it's not going to be Lava, I think. I don't think I've ever seen a Lava Golden Knight deck, except maybe when like Golden Knight was super broken. Um, and he does go for a Pump. I don't even have Rocket and Cycle, so I can't Rocket it. But even if I did, I don't think I would, because it's just a minus one trade every single time. I think it's better to try and get an Expo Punish instead. So I'm going to try and do that especially because I have a Musketeer on the board already, so I'm going to get a nice connection here. He does go for a Poison and misses the tower. going to hover my E-Spirit, try and catch that Heal Spirit. Unfortunately, it still jumped onto my Expo, so a bit unfortunate there, but my E-Spirit does actually chain onto his tower anyways, so I guess it's kind of a wash there. Uh, it does go for a Phoenix in the back, so I guess it's just going to be like some kind of Phoenix spam uh, deck with the Miner in there. And Mirror Phoenix, there it is, level 15 Phoenix coming down. Going to Musketeer, try and take it out. He does actually snipe my Muskie with a Miner. Um, going to try and pop my Monk's ability here, and I think I need to stall out for this uh, Musketeer to be alive. Okay, I think it was a little bit late with that. But actually, I still defended that really nicely. Um, Egg will also get taken out by my Musketeer, so even though I messed up the ability timing, it looks like I was still fine. But, okay, he goes for a Phoenix in the back, and I'm at like 5 Elixir, so he's probably up a lot of Elixir after that, even though I defended well. Uh, oh my god, here he comes again with the same exact uh, silly push, so I'm going to try and switch up my Musketeer placement so the Gold Knight doesn't dash onto it. going to log the Phoenix Egg, and unfortunately it still gets respawned, and uh, I don't know if I can defend this, honestly. going to E-Spirit to try and chain. He does snipe my Musketeer with the Miner, and that is pretty much going to be Tower Down, so... That is pretty unfortunate. Um, I don't think I can come back from this position either. I honestly think I'm just going to give up here because like, this is just quite a stupid deck. And it's the unfortunate truth. You know, there are a lot of decks like this. Um, and even though I tried my best to make a deck that can counter other Phoenixes, if they still have the right troops or uh, tools in their push, like Miner to snipe my Musketeer, Bats to spam, Heal Spirit to heal up, there's not really anything I can do. So unfortunately, you are still going to lose to silly decks like that. But... I guess I'll, I won't let it affect me too much, let's just try and keep the push going. Alright, so hoping we can bounce back from that loss, found next match against I Love You, and he has Recruits on his profile if I saw that correctly, so hopefully it's not Recruits. Um, I don't think I've gone against Recruits with this deck yet, and he actually messed up the log on my E-Spirit. Um, but yeah, against Recruits, I feel like Monk could be a saving grace, because I think you can fully counter a Flying Machine again, if you time it perfectly uh, with the Monk ability, but it's still hard. I do see the Zappies as well, so it could actually be like some kind of Recruits deck, but he has Fisherman, which leads me to believe it's going to be Royal Giant instead. Um, and I will say that I've gone against Royal Giant a few times with my deck, and I feel like unless they have Lightning, I pretty much have a 100-0 matchup. Okay, he has a Monk in here, which changes things a bit, because I'm not used to uh, other RG decks with Monk. I've only pretty much played against RG decks with Phoenix so far, uh, but as you can see, Monk is great against the RG, like I was saying earlier. It does great against E-Giant, against Royal Giant, against Giant, everything. It does go for an Executioner. It's going to pop my ability. will deflect the Executioner Axe back at itself, and I also get some nice tower damage as well. Um, and it claps the Executioner, which is, again, I love that animation. Um, it's really funny, and it also does a ton of damage. Going to Expo right here. He just went for an RG. He's not back to it, so... His cycle is actually pretty bad right now. I'm gonna skeletons. He might zap you here, and he does. So I'm gonna log instantly and then try and get a musketeer down to uh, get a connection because early connections against RG are very important. And I do actually get it off, which is great. Um, he has to mirror his log, so it looks like he has mirror in this deck. Uh, but I still get a really nice connection again, and I'm pretty sure I won already. Like I'm not gonna try to be too cocky or anything, but. I genuinely have an amazing matchup against Royal Giant because most of the decks in this meta have Fireball Log, at least for RG, because they want to counter opposing Phoenixes and like I guess Lightning isn't that good against uh, Mirror Phoenix spam, uh, whereas Fireball is. But uh, yeah, he does go for an RG in the back, I'm just going to rock it, and I was just leaking there because I don't really need to... Oh my god, wow. He actually reacts fast enough and... Or maybe he predicted my rocket, or maybe he tried to bait out my rocket. 
um, and then intentionally went monk ability there. That is impressive, I have to say. Uh, that hasn't happened to me before. I haven't had my own rocket deflected back at me yet, because uh, I've usually been quite prepared, but that was well played of him, no doubt. I'm just going to log this back, though. As you can see, even though he did get uh, a free rocket on my tower and wasted six of my elixir, I still defended that really well, because I have great RG defense. Gonna go for a low Musketeer again, separate it from my Tesla so he can't hit my Tesla and Musketeer with a spell, and then get back to a Monk just to push this RG back. And again, take no hit, so... It, unless they have Lightning, because Lightning is great against Musketeer and Tesla, and Monk can't block it either. Unless they have it, um, you can't really do much against my deck with RG, and I just... My, went Monk there to deflect uh, his Monk's deflection on my Musketeer and Expo. Gonna stack some Musketeers here, and I'm gonna get another connection right here, so... Really nice connection again, and uh, I pretty much just need to chill now, and I can just Rocket Cycle. I do have to be careful, though, because my opponent knows what he's doing. Like, he actually knows how to deflect a Rocket, or at least predict it. Um, again, that was impressive, I have to say. He does go for a Monk, gonna get back to my own Monk as soon as possible, uh, because that Monk will just stall for a while, but... It does pretty much get taken out. It actually survives for so long. I think I have to log this RG back, uh, and I'll take, like, maximum one hit. I don't need to waste a Tesla there. I think I'm fine. Gonna pop my Monk ability. Looks like I was a bit late, but I was focused on defense there, so... Uh, yeah, just gonna defensive expo. He has NATO and log, so I don't actually think he has a big spell, because he already has NATO, log, and uh, mirror, which means he has three spells in the deck already, so... I actually don't think he has any big spells, um, so that's going to be really nice for me. going to go for Skeletons, Monk for the RG, try and push it into my Expo, and actually think I would have been a bit too late, so I Tesla'd last second. And now I can just Rocket Cycle, because this Monk will also be able to deflect Tower Hits, and then that should pretty much be Tower Down uh, with the next Rocket. Yeah, as you can see, like, Monk helps you reach your... Uh, goals in terms of like spell damage milestones like say you're at 700 you want to rocket them out if you just get a monk on the tower it'll work out wow it looks like he actually predicted it again um, I'm gonna give him the well played because he played that one really well he actually tried to predict my next rocket but unfortunately for him it did not work out so that's gonna put me two away from royal champion Alright guys, so we're into the next match against the Great Hey. Wow, this is actually my friend. Um, he plays Graveyard Freeze normally. Kind of sucks because we have to play. Normally I would tie all my friends, but in this new Path of Legends ladder system, if you tie, people have found out it's actually a loss for both players. Um, so there's no benefit in tying. Unless you reach Ultimate Champion, then you can tie as normal. So I don't know why they did it that way, but anyways, he's probably playing Graveyard Freeze, so I feel kind of bad because it's probably going to be a really good matchup for me. Let's go for a cannon, just gonna expo, try and find out what he has, cause cannon doesn't tell me too much, it is interesting though. And does go for a skelly king, so... Musketeer should be, uh, staying alive, yeah, tower isn't targeting her. Okay, he does have executioner in this deck, gonna try and monk ability instantly, and deflect that executioner axe back at itself, and that's gonna be amazing, that should pretty much be a tiny connection. Okay, never mind, it still gets a, uh, hit on my expo again, but still, uh, monk should at least get one hit on tower. Yeah, it gets the clap on the tower, as you can see, that is that attack is so funny again, and uh, it's just, it does so much damage, like, Monk is so strong in so many ways. Some people are saying uh, Monk isn't that good, Phoenix is the one that needs the nerf, but I really think Monk has just amazing stats. I think it has more HP than the Mighty Miner, um, which is a lot of HP, and it's only 4 Elixir again, so it's very cheap. Uh, so it's just a bit ridiculous. He does cycle a NATO there, so I'm actually going to Expo because that's just like a minus three. That's like a one looks for Musketeer, so definitely worth it. Going to Monk to predict his Exe or Cannon. And then ability as fast as possible uh, to try and deflect the Executor backs at it. Axe back at itself again. And it does also deflect the Cannon a little bit. Going to E-Spirit 2, and that's going to be another small connection. Uh, so yeah, just playing this really aggressively. Looks like he's just playing Graveyard Freeze with uh, Skelly King, um, Executioner. I feel like if he had a big spell, he already would have used it on my uh, stuff, on my expo pushes, so he does give the good game. Um, I think he knows that I have a really good matchup, but I'm not sure if he actually gave up or not yet. He's not playing anything. Okay, he still is, actually, so uh, we'll still play. Um, does Skelly King the back? I'm just going to rocket it, honestly, because that is a lot of value. Um, yeah, he gives the oops, and uh, that's just going to be pretty much a free rocket for me again. Going to Monk at the bridge and try and deflect this Executioner at itself again. I just really like that play. Maybe that was a bit aggressive, but I do take the Skeleton King out with that play. Um, 
and it's totally fine. You just go for a graveyard at the bridge, uh, a graveyard executioner at the bridge, but I have log and e-spirit again, so even though I don't have the best graveyard defense in terms of, like, not having archers, I still have e-spirit plus log, so that's what I was talking about. I have many graveyard responses if I need them, so I'm just going to expo again, and yeah, he gave up at this point because it's basically over. Um, I feel kind of bad because I feel like I have a really good matchup. He has executioner and cannon, and he can't use either of them against my expos if I get a monk down because it will deflect everything, but uh, yeah, that is going to be a good game. I wish him the good luck because, again, he is my friend. I feel kind of bad, um, but we did have to play just because of how the new Path of Legends is set up. Uh, but yeah, that's going to put me one away from Royal Champion now, so really hope I can get it, because that would be great with my Monk Bow deck. have had some losses along the way, and yeah, as you can see, Hay is on my friends list, so kind of sucks to go, into my, go against my friend. But anyways, let's get it going and get the final match in. Alright guys, so I'm going to be honest, I have had quite a few losses along the way. I tilted for a little bit, but I finally managed to get back up. There's just so many ridiculous Phoenix decks, and it's really hard to keep up if you don't have a Phoenix yourself, so it's kind of tough, but I'm still trying my best. I'm back at one win away from Royal Champion now, so I'm going to try my best. We do see a Golden Knight in this match, so just going to Monk to meet it, and uh, let's see what type of Golden Knight deck he has. Could be like E-Giant, could be Drill. There was a really popular Drill deck. Okay, it's going to be E-Giant. There was like a really popular Drill Exe NATO deck that was going around before these two new cards were added, so I guess I haven't seen it since they were added though. Um, Monk should take out that Golden Knight, it does beat Golden Knight in a 1v1, just gonna pop the ability, get some extra chip in just because, and then just gonna go for a high Tesla in case he has Lightning, um, E-Spirit as well for this Phoenix, and I think the Phoenix might respawn. Gonna log the egg back, um, and I think I have to musketeer anyways, yeah. I mean, log wasn't that bad anyways, because it did also hit the E-Giant and tower. Um, does have a mini P.E.K.K.A. in here, so... Looks like it might just be, like, some kind of E-Giant beatdown deck with the Phoenix. I don't know if he has pump or mirror, like the others do. Um, he, okay, there's the pump, of course he does. Like I said last time in the other pump game, I think I'm gonna try and go in, though, and not rock it, because it would just be a minus one trade for absolutely no reason. Gonna get a monk in front of my expo as soon as possible, and he's at, like, one or so elixir right now. Okay, does go... Okay, at, actually... Right as I said that, he played an Executioner, which is crazy to me, because that costs 5, but I don't get how he played a Pump, and then a Gold Knight, and then was able to afford an Executioner. That doesn't make any sense to me. Anyways, though, unfortunately I don't get anything out of that, um, except, for, I guess, a little bit of damage, uh, but we are down a lot of Elixir now uh, because of that. Yeah, he goes e -Giant when I'm at 7, and he also has about half of that Pump left, so we're probably down, like, 6 or so Elixir right now. Just gonna set up for defense again. I'm gonna bank on the fact that he doesn't have the big spell because usually these uh, decks have like mirror and some ridiculous stuff. He, okay, there's the mirror right there, so I don't know if I should rock it. I think I should because I need to hit the E Giant as well, but unfortunately, like the eggs are gonna respawn. I'm gonna try and log them both. And okay, somehow I took them out. I was really not expecting it to go that well, I'm gonna be honest, because. Um, usually whenever that happens to me, I've always been scared to rock it because whatever else is on the board would tank, so it's kind of weird, but I guess I was fine. Gonna expo right now, I hope he doesn't have enough for an E-Giant in time, and nice, he didn't have enough, let's go. Uh, so I'm gonna give him the well played sarcastically, because he's playing E-Giant Phoenix Mirror Spam again, you have to BM these, uh, Phoenix players, so, <laughs> yeah, I'm actually so happy, like, it's been a long time, uh, since I tried to get back here, like, I... Like I said, I did lose quite a few matches, I tilted a bit, so I'm just really happy I was finally able to win this one, and I'm going to BM him because, I mean, he's being a good sport about it, I guess, but he's playing E-Giant Mirror Phoenix Pump, so I can't really uh, have any forgiveness for him. But yeah, I think not rocketing the pump is the play. Uh, it is, again, just a minus one trade for no reason, and 7 for one of the best expo players always says not to rocket pumps because it just gives them the initiative and gives them a plus one. Um, so yeah, anyways, that is finally going to be Royal Champion. Let's go. I'm really happy because, again, I did tilt for quite a while, but uh, I was finally able to get it. And we do get a Champion wild card, which is pretty nice. I don't need it, I think, but uh, it still should be okay. We're getting closer to Ultimate Champion, uh, getting up there. And I also got some nice gold as well, so... Really nice stuff. 30k gold is a lot of gold. And again, a free champion wild card, which I don't really need, but still. Um, that's going to be Royal Champion. Really, really nice stuff the next league. And as you can see here, I'll show you guys my battle log. I did lose quite a bit uh, along the way. Like, it was quite a journey to get back there. Um, but I was finally able to. So, yeah. I guess I'm just finally happy I reached it. Um, 
with my own expo deck. So yeah, that's going to be it, guys. Next up, I'll be going for ultimate champion, I guess. But really, really happy I was able to do well with my own monk bow deck again. Hope you guys enjoy the video. Thank you so much for watching. Take care, and I will see you in the next one.